Where was the money? This week, there wasn't really any big story on where the money was that was obvious. Obviously, yes, of course there was, and I'm going to share that with you in just a second. But between the bombs we dropped on Syria and the bombshell dropped by James Comey in his new book about the president, there wasn't a lot of room on national television for some of the big stories that were covered that uh, affected you and your money. But let's talk about Facebook for just a minute. Most of us use Facebook, at least most of us adults, the kids don't seem to use it anymore. But the Facebook story is a lot bigger than you think. And here's what it is. As I was watching some of the testimony that Mark Zuckerberg gave Congress this week, I noticed a glaring error in one piece of his testimony. And it's an error that a lot of us make. And it's the way that we perceive our businesses and the things that we do all day long, as well as who we do it for. At one point in time, one of the uh, senators or Congress people asked Mark Zuckerberg who his competitors are. And he had a hard time answering that question. He said that it was Apple or Google or some similar type company. But I would beg to differ. And one of the things that the senators and Congress people asked was, if I have a Ford car and I don't like it and I want to drive a different car, I can go to a different dealership, buy a different kind of car. But what can your people do? I think a better answer than what Mark gave uh, is that, number one, uh, we are not the customers of Facebook. Just like television, we are we're viewers, we're participants, we're users but we're not customers because we don't pay Facebook any money. And that's a significant component. <clears throat> I'm not saying that uh, they have the right to do anything with our data that, uh, that they don't tell us that they're going to do, because if they don't tell us, then we don't have the ability to opt out. And if they do tell us, then we can decide if we want to use it or not. But let's just say this. Uh, I think that Facebook competes head to head with TV, newspapers, radio, and every kind of other advertising medium that there is. And if you don't like the way that uh, Facebook operates, you could buy a different kind of medium. Facebook doesn't only compete with Google and Apple and the other different uh, sources of internet social media. They compete with anybody who advertises. And if you don't like it, then you can buy some other kind of advertising medium. They just happen to do a better job than just about anybody else. And that's the reason that they've become so successful and so profitable over the last many years. So give some thought to that. When you're describing yourself and your own business, you wanna think not about the narrow, very small piece, but about in general, who do you compete against? Who do you work for? Who are your customers? Think about it in the big picture. And if you think about the big picture, you're more than likely gonna get it right and you're gonna be more accurate than you would be otherwise. In the meantime, I'm Joel Block, have a great week.